So today I'm out at Lake Warren State Park in Hampton, South Carolina, doing their interpretive trail. One of the signs here. A circle of life. It's a... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm the first person on the trail today. I don't know, but it's uh, running into a lot of spider webs today. Check out this piece of farm equipment. In the middle of the woods. But it's not a long trail. It's supposed to have a view at the end, I think, of the lake or one of the lakes. So this trail is only like a mile, maybe a little bit over a mile. But I didn't want to do anything very long because this was a little bit of an afterthought today. A lot of signs. There's another one right there. So yeah, it's a little bit of an afterthought. I got it here a little bit later, but I don't think anybody's been on this trail. It doesn't look like it's been worn at all, running into a bunch of spider webs. Uh, and the sun is setting, so I'm trying to angle it away from that. Uh, what sun do we have here? The Southern Magnolia. That's a uh, magnolia right there. Come around that side so you can see it better. They uh, they bloom and they put off big white flowers. You can tell they have those really big leathery leaves. I've been on a lot of these interpretive trails before. Sorry, I'm keeping my eye out for snakes, <laughs> as always, and um, sticks and stuff like that, because like I said, it doesn't look like any people hiked this trail today. So you can hear all the crunching under my feet. There's a lot of leaves. It doesn't look like anybody's been through here in a while. keep hearing like a lot of rustling and stuff behind me but I think it's these little squirrels they're down here chomping on on the nuts down here like walnuts and they're walnuts here You can see all the leaves like there's, you can't even tell there's a trail here. It's like nobody's been through here. Okay, my trail goes that way, but there's a little lookout over here. And we have a, beware of the friendly alligator sign. So let's make sure we don't run into any alligators. As he approaches the river's edge. Oop, I heard a big splash there. Hey, Mr. Alligator.
Maybe that was a turtle. I'm going to tell myself it was a turtle. I'm being really, really cautious right here because it's... This is a alligator's paradise with all this growth. Maybe we'll just stay safe and film it from here, but I don't know. I'll try to go up there. Very low lying water over here. Real swampy. Alright, there's caution on this thing that a hole in the bridge. Got a hole there and a hole up there. Let's uh, make sure this can support my big old behind. I don't hear any cracking. Here's the view. And over there is where I over there is where I started at. It kind of went out. Okay. See, I was a little bit weary about that right there. For a couple of reasons. Here's my trail. A lot of roots. You have to be real careful with this. Sometimes you just Man, that doesn't look like anybody's been back through here in a while. Another spider web. Real slippery, slippery. It's my marker. Ooh, this thing's rough. Squirrels. It doesn't show up well on my camera, but all these roots. All right, this section's a little bit better. There's a hole right here. Something was living in there. Alright, 
trail is a lot better right here than it was back there. But if you're not careful, that area back there, you definitely could twist your ankle in there easy. Because a lot of it's covered up with leaves and you can't see it. It's not a hard trail. It's not a hard trail at all. It's just you got to be very, very careful navigating it. Spiderweb. It's not a uh, it's not a hard trail. You just have to be careful in sections where they have all these roots because you can't see them because of all the leaves. It covers them up. So you step on them and you kind of slip or slide. Where it wants to roll your ankle a certain way. So I'm not in any hurry to get this done. This is not a long trail, but there's not a lot of people. Clearly, there's not been a lot of people on this trail. Got a little bridge coming up. I'm gonna go around this bridge. I guess this is like if it floods a little bit, get you up out of the water, but it looks pretty rotten. I believe there's no animals living under there. I want to bite my feet. It's very damp and muggy back here. And I just slipped right there. See that streak? I just slipped in that mud. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. And guys, I, I do apologize for not having the stable camera camera image. Like this, this trip was a little bit of an afterthought. So I got up here a little bit later than normal. I got here a little bit later than I normally would get out to a trail and hike it. Whew. So I'm filming it on my cell phone instead of my gimbal that I normally use. So the image quality might be, not be as good and it might be a little bit more jumpy than it normally is. But the whole point is to get out and get some exercise. And that's what I'm doing. If I don't bust my booty. Yeah, a lot of roots, man. A lot of roots. If you're, uh... If you have any, like, mobility issues or anything like that, Probably wouldn't recommend this trail. Sounds like a chainsaw. I think that is a chainsaw. So, you know, just walking through the woods and got the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre going on back here. Alright, the trail splits. Oh, I think there's a tag up here. You won't take me alive! You won't take me alive. Some of that Blair Witch stuff. We're out here. And he's coming for us. <laughs> oh my god. That was totally unexpected. Alright, anyways, getting to another lookout point. So that's where I was over there. And we got this sign. 
Return of the Gator. When you look at an alligator, you're looking at a design that's been around for more than 150 million years. It's still biting people's legs off today. Alright, well anyways, if you guys want to read all that, you can pause it. It's getting late in the evening. I got a long drive back home. A little picnic area. For those of you who want to share your lunch with the alligators. The adventurous types. And there's the actual warning sign there. You see these at a couple of the state parks. You see these uh, alligator signs like uh, Fort Dorchester had one, or Colonial Dorchester, I'm sorry. So yeah, they don't want you feeding the alligators because they get used to people, they start coming around people more they won't have any choice but to put them down so don't feed the gators not like you would want them to come next to you anyways so here's a pretty big magnolia tree that one's been around a long time and like i said earlier unless i edited it edited it out of the video you can tell by these big leathery leaves they're real tough you hear how thick they are? And then they drop these uh, little grenades right here. So I can get it to focus. There you go. So little seed pods. But yeah, that's a big, big magnolia tree. So we're heading into the sunlight. And then heading out, I guess. And this looks like the end of the trail. Hmm, that over there looks like a uh, tent site or something. Let's take a look and see if it is. It's electric here. I don't see water. This could be something for electric right there there's an actual podium here so maybe this is for boy scouts or maybe some people have services out here so you can see there's two pews go around so the speaker, or this must be for like speakers and lighting or something. Pretty interesting. Well, this is the end of the adventure, I guess. I'm gonna head back, but I may roll in some video footage. I like to see what the park looks like in other locations. This is all I'm hiking for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, be safe. Stay prepared. I'll see you on the next adventure.